the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Why are you here, then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps neath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me die, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in neath a barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Yorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Horses, plowing the guardian curse. Hi, Geralt. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome. As is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Gotta say, I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Ought to be said. Have a ever settled in care troll that permanently? He speaks uh, to gods. Well, yes, right. I think. Lord. My. Missed.
Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the Lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowheres. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Pulled it back inside. Hosped the door and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the wraith. Big bugger. Bigger than the rest. And cold flowing from it. Such cold the windows frosted o'er. This wraith. The big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Better. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse.
you. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. The sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. Soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... I understand. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. <laughs> I 
Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Dunar only turned old pious Peter after he violated the priestess. He feared the wrath of Mother hey, Fear. That's right. Frank Fear, where'd you hear that? <laughs> If me eyes don't deceive me, you're the white wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Someone's fed you a lot of... And a friend of the great master Dandelion himself. The great master Dandelion. Aye, who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze. When next you see him, white wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. See ya. White Wolf? Wouldn't mind.
See ya. Stranger. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. So long. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. signal tower. It'll be nothing but a pile of rubble soon.
some.
unnaturally cold. Medallion's jumping. Holder must be saturated with magic. Holders form a triangle, affecting the magic aura. Thing is, who arranged them? Couldn't have been Lambert. Someone placed an illusion here. That smell. Some herb grew here. A rust-eaten sickle. Herb garden. Probably cultivated by the mage in residence at Kaer Morin. His magic made it a greenhouse. For a time, could try to tune these stones. No point without some instructions, though. Seeds. Wolfsbane, I think. Mage's notes. Language is a bit archaic, but still intelligible. Exotic herbs could grow in this temperature. Hey, got ourselves a botanical garden.
Hmm. Might want to look around some. Drowning corpse. Whatever mutilated it sure wasn't human. Another drowner, even more mangled. seen one this big in a while. Gotta be ancient. Something tells me it got a little angry. suspect he could write. Plan of attack for the fortress. Not how I remember it. Troll must have nabbed the owner of these before he could reach the fortress. Seems we owe this troll a lot. Guess our friendly troll detests drowners. some.
An iron mine. Hmm. Depleted centuries Might ago. Well look around some. Something behind these roots. Summoned by a mage and left as a sentry.
full fed. I know this place. They held the first trials of the grasses here before they built the fortress. Almost washed away. A few more decades and it'll be gone. Just like the Witchers. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Slayers were created, now infested with monsters. Near dripping with irony, mutations were carried out here. Nice acoustics. Kids screaming must have carried far. <laughs> Like our sad Albert, except even sadder. That smell, mutagens, makes me want to vomit despite the years. smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. this was for. Maybe that's for the better. A vat for seeping the herbs. I remember those teas they gave us. That smell. Mutants. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. here. Corn lily, nightshade, wolf spain, nature's finest.
far afield, this. Eskel's prints. No one else has left the keep recently. That's his horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher, Wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. Takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh! Hear that? Incoming. Off. Hit the wings! Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse, a purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. 
Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Escalin Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't the old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Since you insist? Here. Use it wisely.
Chris's earring. Good thing I found it. Get it back to Triss. or a portrayal of witchers. Notes describe how to open a passage in the mine. Might be worth seeing what's down there. Decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. Need to blow off steam? Go ahead, just not on me. Find some other target. I don't know, throw another bed off the balcony. Ha ha ha. So it's to be dull jokes after all. Rather have a serious conversation? We can do that if you prefer. I mean, what got into you? That determined to make Vesemir your enemy? No. I was determined not to sleep in the bed in which you swived Triss. Repeatedly. Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well, then. Listen. You shagged my friend. For upwards of know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. I try not to think about it. That stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. Yen, told you already, I lost my memory. And I've lost my patience! Oh, she's really... 
really not in the mood. Say I gotta place the book in the right spot. Medallion's humming. There's magic here. No ordinary forge. Medallion sensing magic. Ought to look around. Smith's bellows. Stand down, Vigor. This place belongs to Radmir. Radmir of Tor Karnet? He was flayed alive during Falka's rebellion. A long time ago, that. You lie. Who are you? I am fire. This forge's soul. I am the flame that tempers steel. Listen, just want to look around. Intruder, I cannot allow this. I will not allow it. No, not allowed.
Kira gave me. In a secret compartment behind an illusion.
Geralt, anything you'd like to say? Mm -hmm. The view from there is spectacular. Perhaps I should have teleported you two miles higher. Breathtaking, that view. To die for, really. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? First, stop pouting. Second, no, it's no secret. Ida Emian, remember her? How could I forget? Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Can we talk? How can I help you? functioning normally.
pulse weak, but regular. Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functioning normally. Oh, got a signal. Shit, lost a signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Hold this. Signal's growing stronger. Action to die, Meridian. Can't be far now. Ah, getting warmer, warmer, hot. Look, like that. Pretty, isn't it? Interesting. Not afraid of silver. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Emir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Temeria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Can we talk? I'm looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? Do you think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? Mm-hmm. So do I. So long. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Hold this. No reaction to die, Meridian. Look. Like that? Isn't it? Interesting. Not afraid of silver. Ah, there you are. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functioning normally.
Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt! It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid, bondro isne iachus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan undod. Meaning? The so-called one speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. Don't really see why I should apologize. I know sorceresses expect me to bow down before them. So you refuse to bow and thumb your nose at them instead? Very mature. <sighs> oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you. That's it. I don't know what you want to do with them. You haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. Now take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. 
In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those! Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen. What do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. 
To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. So, what's this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. You can breathe easy. Yen and I... are not a couple. And we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn silky. Lambert, drop it. Sorry, Geralt. That was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... Uh, wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way, I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Eskel. I'll pour. To the brim. 
Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game a student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Eskel, Eskel. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never. taken Fistek. Eskel. Really? Once, with that succubus. Right. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, listen, you, you got a problem with me? Me? What? Why would you say that? Well, just seems that way. You know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying, but a brother. Geralt, damn it, you're gonna make me cry. Come here! Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Eskel? Should've been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job... for Vesemir! Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be... beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that? If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Eskel, chop, chop! Eskel, you drunk! Get out here! Eskel! 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 Eskel, you drunk! Get out of here! Hey, you hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. Ah, uh -huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Eskel. Wake up. 
What? What happened? Got sloshed to the end. Fifty-seven other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So? We inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Ugh. We don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Yes, perfect! Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking, get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Can mill blood that hocus pocus abracadabra split. What is this? Who's that? Oh, sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now.
see everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data, found simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hookweed work? 
If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. Listen, we should stop this. Then Uma dies. Very painfully. Yennefer's right. Open the next valve. must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Floor. No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this cripple. Wrong in the head. Just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had... disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Verolagen steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. No, no, 
I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask, in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Nevis Sabir. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nevis. Gariba. Endir. Geralt, the phylactery, open it. Kaniatad. Taran Anadir. Jeez. Siri. And elder blood to open it. Not, not. Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage, we did to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. In Skellige, follow it. The mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... Brought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? I don't know. Guess we'll see. Geralt, you're in a hurry to get her, I understand. But you... we can't act blindly. You got something in mind, don't you? Come on, spit it out. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice, besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much. 
but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. 